On this spontaneous camping trip, I took the train from the Netherlands and traveled to Eastern Europe. For years already, I've been intrigued to explore the rare wild areas in Europe. Stories about lush, still untouched, primeval forest. Are they really that wild? Stories about murder. If one tries to mess up with the interest of the forest mafia, you get in trouble. And hungry bears raiding towns have brought me to Romania. Here I hope to get an idea of the dynamics between humans and nature in these vast landscapes where we can still find some of the wild origins of what the temperate zone would have looked like. Something that is not existent anymore in my home country. Let me share this camping trip with you guys. Hey there! Enjoy! Track back because I ran out of water. I reached the top almost of the mountain, so there's no water here anymore. I only have my little canteen here. Of course, here in the mountains, the most places water is available, except for the bridge. It's beautiful. That is what I do now. Tires of course, but overpacked with uh, camera gears it has its consequences. And here we have one. important thing I forgot now on this trip is a damn hat. It's a bit stupid. I made it up to the mountain pass that day at approximately 2200 meters or 7000 feet above sea level. There was a dome shaped emergency shelter on top of the pass, but as the weather was absolutely stunning, definitely no need to make use of that. I met some kind hikers walking the trails over the mountain ridge. Most people would hike to the tops of the mountains here, but I'm more interested in exploring the wildness below the tree line. I had a simple lentil curry dinner overlooking the beautiful remote valley which I will enter tomorrow. And then it was soon time for some much needed rest. Good night. Morning folks, 5.40, it's been primitive camping in the mountains, of course I, I'm more uh, anticipated on hammock camping, so not, but this is really above the tree line here. To save weight I only brought my survival blanket, a durable one, of course a sleeping bag uh, and no mattress either, but yeah, all the damn camera gear. Your weight saving goes all through the ground. So I slept pretty good, it wasn't too cold here, but it's especially the car helps to isolate you extra. I actually slept better than the first night, 
just because we're high up in the mountains there won't be any beers here so you're less nervous about that this whole beer situation I've yet to I'm not really afraid of it but you're thinking about the scenario of what if a beer comes up to me now It'd be a hungry beer I put the food again on the other side of the ridge to be sure anyways we're going into the valley this will be the most remote valley I've been thus far hope we see some beautiful forest this we're stuck so this upper mountain habitat is full with these plants giant hogweed that seems a bit tricky now you know maneuvering through a big bushes of those plants. See, on the river bank, full of them there. I should be careful. I think their uh, sap is, very, is sort of an acid and later your skin comes in contact with UV radiation from the sun, uh, things go bad. Anyway, still very difficult to maneuver in this terrain, but it's doonable. Just crossing the stream on and on again. And sometimes the bedding is even the best route. Definitely beer country. further down in the valley and here we have the first signs of humans we're hardly much 
below the tree line. We've reached some sort of settlement here. A hut with an enclosure. You see the, the old fencing lines. Might have been camp of a sheep, base of a sheep uh, shepherd or a mule uh, traveler who brings goods up the mountain. Man, it's, it is absolutely beautiful here, absolutely stunning. Now for the first time, I really have that uh, feeling, you know, that I hoped for. The feeling I associate with exploring the Carpathians. The wild Carpathians, for long as it will last. Massive avalanche corridor. Looks like someone has been sleeping here. Maybe. Massive beast. These trees are very old. Ancient. Ancient. What would it be? A spruce. 500 years, maybe? Could it be? I mean, we're still on quite high altitude. Uh, so the trees will go slow here. I presume we're at 1600 meter or so. Massive. No sign of beer yet. That's good. But we like to spot one either. A lot of pine cones. We're definitely in risky territory. road man that was some joyful adventure Whew. where are we close to seeing a beer my goodness oh, Jesus that's one oh Jesus that's one on the other bank. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I just saw a glimpse of a large brown shadow moving on the other side of the river bank. Unfortunately, it's not visible on the wide angled action camp. Hey, bear! Most likely, it would have been a male brown bear. Later on this trip, I will have an intense close encounter 
with mother bear and cub this time with camera footage so if you enjoy please keep watching this tree is massively old look at the small 400 years Massive soil erosion. I mean, this path here, that's what would it be? 70 degree slope. You know, all that sediment flushes down in the river, affecting the fish population and the wall of the ecosystem. Having a Natura 2000 protection status for any operations in these forests. An environmental impact assessment is to be carried out to protect biodiversity. But it seems to be the case that on a large scale, without care and taking account of environmental regulations, logging access is being dug to wherever there's timber, while the Romanian government looks away. Man, this is some steep slope to do some logging, man. I don't know what these guys be up to. Crazy mood. Here on those steep slopes of more than 35 degrees, boats and logging activities are in most cases illegal and will inevitably lead to major soil erosion which is devastating for forest regeneration and river ecology. The rangers know about the illegalities but they fear losing their job if they sign fines so they often prefer to turn a blind eye. There are distant foresters who try to defend their forests from the illegal loggers, and some of them were even killed. In October 2019, forest ranger Liviu Pop was shot dead in the forest with his own gun, the latest victim. Many rangers say Romsilva is part of the problem and claim to witness widespread criminality. One worker admits that the forest that they have just logged was untouched until just recently. De ce? Păi nu e sănătos, nu e sănătos. Și cum vă dați seama că nu e sănătos? Păi dar nu se vede, nu vedeți? Deja asta e, nu e alb, alb trebuie să fie. Enough for now, let's continue our trip. Because despite that these riverbeds have been used for log hauling, there's still a lot of beauty in these remote valleys. man that's amazing just with little slabs wow just with small wooden strip slabs
in the next episode of Exploring the Romanian Carpathians. Kilometers I have been walking up the mountain to reach this. Hey there! Oh, yes, so oh, yes. Subscribe for more nature, bushcraft and survival content and help support this environmental awareness kind of content by becoming a patron. Thanks a lot for your support. See you on the next one. Food fix, Take care about nature.